So the first thing that hits you when you jump into the Mortal Shell beta is the atmosphere, right? It's perfect. It feels dark, it feels unforgiving, it feels like there is something around every corner that could potentially kill you. From enemies to bear traps to falling off a ledge to a bloody exploding poisonous frog, I kid you not. Oh and in it you can also pet an evil looking chunky cat. That's it, right? Game sold straight away. Now this is beta footage of Mortal Shell, so things could change before final release, like any beta. It's also bloody hard when you jump into it. Enemies can kill you, can deal a lot of damage, until I guess I got used to enemy tells, knowing when they were going to attack, what their attack patterns actually were, as well as when to harden my shell, or when I'm out of my shell, or when to parry enemy attacks as well. Now like I said, it is an open beta, and I believe it was a beginner area as well that you got to start off and so I would imagine and hope that as you progress through this game when it gets full release enemies would get harder or there would be more variations for you to fight against. Now I will leave you with a complete playthrough of all of the zones and the fights at the end of this video so you can get a better feel for what it was all like. Just note that my shell and my weapon was slightly upgraded. Now it is worth noting that there was only two small zones available to play in this beta. The Fallgrim Outskirts which is kind of an area that has the hills have eyes looking types of enemies, kind of hillbillies, and a catacombs styled area called the abandoned chamber. Now there was no boss fight in this beta, just a mini boss called the enslaved Grisha. Now this is, <laughs> it's a mini boss, but he was this big hulking monster with blades on the end of each arm, and he absolutely kicked my ass multiple times, ragdolled me several times as well across the area, which is a really cool feature. Getting slapped clean across a room by a mini boss or by anything adds weight or adds to the power factor of that boss fight and definitely makes it that little bit scarier. Now in Mortal Shell you can dodge roll, there are iframes, you can parry and if you successfully counter a parry you can heal your shell back up by a certain percentage which can then be upgraded later on to give you more health back if you successfully parry. You can also harden which allows you to turn to stone and cause certain enemy strikes to bounce off your character. If you time this mid swing so while you're swinging and then you harden in the middle of it you can then immediately strike your enemy as they bounce off your hardened shell and then stagger but if you do take enough damage it will knock you clean out of your shell kind of into your I don't know what form you want to say, the kind of white skeleton form, and then you have a chance to run back to your shell and repossess it, but you can only do this once. In the beta, if you got knocked out a second time out of your shell, it was instant death. Now there was only two shells that we got to try out during the beta. There was the default kind of well balanced shell, I'm not going to name them because it would be spoiler, and then there was the high stamina low health mortal shell which could dodge roll a lot more and would turn into mist when dodging. This is the one I preferred and this is the one you're probably going to see most of in this footage. It's the one that has got the hammer and chisel weapon. There was also an upgrade system for each of the shells which will allow you to amplify them or guess their ability but in order to do that you need to unlock the actual name of that shell which you need to do by finding tar and visions throughout the area kind of scattered around or if enemies drop them and then spending that tar and those visions. Now tar is effectively souls right if you're familiar with dark souls then that's what tar is if you die you will lose all of the tar you are carrying and then you'll have to run back and retrieve it just don't die along the way or you will lose everything you have lost previously. So upgrading these shells will allow you to make them more powerful, increase your resolve which you need to parry. You might be able to harden for longer, poison attacks will heal you instead of kill you which happens to the character that I use, less stamina on dodge, more health from successful parry reposites. You get the idea, however I'm not sure if there is a way to flat out increase your shells health, stamina and resolve if there is actual kind of character stats like you have in Dark Souls, vitality and so on. Now weapons can also be upgraded at an anvil. We had two weapon types to try out in the beta. There was the hammer and chisel, again the one you're going to see a lot of in this footage and then there was the greatsword. Now I fully upgraded my hammer and chisel with poison damage to do better damage, more damage output and it made a whole world of difference. Enemies were much much easier to kill in this beginner area. Now Mortal Shell ticks all of the right boxes if you like Soulsborne games. Weaker enemies I kind of found could be stagger locked with the hammer and chisel which made them much easier. There was a mini boss at the very start of 
I think it was the Fulgrim outskirts where you had to knock roots or knock tree stumps out of the way, crawl through this tunnel and there was this kind of creature inside a cave that was eating an arm. A massive health bar showed up so I think again this is a mini boss but I stagger locked the crap out of him and killed him really really easily. So again weaker enemies can be stagger locked whereas big ones uh, can kill you pretty quickly if you get greedy and you get hit once or twice. With some more fine tuning and definitely with some more polish this could be an absolutely amazing game and definitely one worth keeping on your radar but the settings, the little bits of lore scattered around, the atmosphere and the visuals of each area is the closest to a Soulsborne game that I have seen. Again, here is a full unedited run through both of the areas against each of the enemy types and groups complete with the enslaved Grisha fight at the end with my upgraded shell and weapon. Hit the like button or don't, subscribe or don't, but as always, thanks very much for watching.
another taste, foundling. Not so hasty. Not all places are as friendly as Fulcrum. There won't be any merriment around the bonfire here. Only the dead call this place home. All that remains are scavengers gnawing on bones. An intruder like yourself will not be welcome. So then, would you like another sip? 